His name is Zoran. As a young necromancer, he delved deep into the dark arts, fascinated by the power and potential they held. His journey began in the cursed town of Tristram, where he witnessed the horrors unleashed by Diablo himself, determined to master the dark arts and protect the innocent he committed himself to intensive training. To bolster his defenses, he mastered Bone Prison and Bone Wall, using them to passively reinforce his bone armor. This made him a formidable adversary, capable of withstanding even the most vicious attacks. For his offensive strategy, he mastered Poison Dagger and Poison Corpse Explosion passively amplifying the damage of Poison Nova to complete his arsenal. Zoran needed some powerful items. His search led him to the dark, labyrinthine sewers beneath Loot Golane. These dank tunnels were infested with venomous creatures and treacherous traps, but he navigated them with determination. Deep within, he faced a horde of venomous undead guarding the prized rings. Defeating them, he claimed the rings of Carrion Wind, which granted him the power to passively generate Poison Nova when struck, creating a deadly retaliation against his enemies. Zoran's journey then took him to the haunting halls of the Uriad Plateau. It was there, amidst the echoes of ancient battles, that he stumbled upon a mysterious Archon Plate. After inscribing the Bone Rune word onto this formidable armor, it granted him unparalleled protection and resilience, fortifying his defenses against the oncoming darkness. Venturing into the treacherous depths of the catacombs, Zoran encountered the fearsome Andario. The battle was fierce, but his determination never wavered. Upon her defeat, he claimed her visage as his own. Wearing Andariel's visage, he gained enhanced resistance to elemental attacks, and the chance to proc higher levels of poison Nova when struck, making him an even deadlier adversary. Zoran's next quest for power led him to the legendary craftsman Griswold in Tristram, whose breath was quite literally dying. From Griswold's final creation, he acquired the ethereal Berserker Axe, known as Breath of the Dying. This weapon granted him the ability to unleash the most potent poison Nova, passively upon killing enemies, marking a significant increase in his offensive capabilities. Zoran's journey led him to the heart of the Flame River, where he faced Hell's most fearsome warriors. Amidst the infernal flames and demonic legions, he found a monarch shield. Using the hell-forged anvil, he imbued the shield with the essence of the phoenix. This granted him not only protection, but also the aura of redemption, regenerating his life force and making him nearly invincible in battle. Armed with his newfound powers and formidable gear, Zoran's teacher gave him the final trial, surveying the secret Moon Moo farm in Nightmare, with the constraint of not casting any skill actively. He faced his final trial in the Moo Moo farm, confronting the fierce cows in a hard-fought battle. The conflict was intense, but his abilities and equipment proved superior. He unleashed devastating poison novas passively. Protected himself with bone armors. And endured their onslaughts thanks to his regenerative powers. In the end, he faced the Moo Moo King, 
he finally defeated the Cow King and his minions. Zoran dominated the nightmare. As so young and naive, dismissed the intrinsic evil power of the enemy coming from hell. He accidentally almost died in hell. From that moment on, Zoran embarked on a new journey to further his skills, determined to conquer the most malevolent demons. And so the story continues.